Hi everyone! Thank you for watching this video. This is Sheva from Bear Mix Bujo over at Instagram. For today, I have a craft with me video wherein I will be making one of these decorated Christmas envelopes. So this is a design theme project for the paper cameo. Um, Nicola has very kindly asked me to be part of her design team and for my very first project, um, I am sharing um, these, how to make these decorated envelopes. So I will be sending out um, Christmas cards this year. So I thought, you know, um, to also decorate the envelopes that I'll be using when I send out those cards. I thought, you know, aside from the note that's going to be inside, um, the envelope can also be a little treat um, to whoever will be receiving the Christmas cards. Before I share with you um, how we can uh, make one of these decorated cards, um, I'll be showing you uh, the three that I have here and I'll share with you some of the materials that I used so that you can also make them um, aside from the one that I'll be sharing with you um, later. So these envelopes um, are part of Nicola's um, kits, her digital kits. Um, they have, um, they, they usually have these um, pages wherein you have the envelope together with some seals, which you can cut out and use in the envelope. And I thought that's really, really cool and really, really convenient, right? Because sometimes um, you don't have the time to make uh, your your own envelope so having that as part of the kit is really really good so you can use them um, you can cut them up um, and then sometimes when I also make journals I make a lot of extra ephemeras so when you have an envelope like this you can put the extra ephemera inside the envelopes and then mail them together with the journal um, so that's a, that's a, another um, another idea on how to use this but for today um, I'll be using them as is as an envelope for Christmas cards that I'll be sending out so we'll make this one together we'll decorate this one but I'll show you the three that I have here first so all of them have strings um, to close them up because obviously I'll be showing them to you so I haven't glued them shut yet but um, if you're sending it out to someone, of course, you can glue them so that they're, um, they lay flat. So this one is just tied with um, a pom-pom string. thought it went really well with the theme. So this is the envelope. In front of the envelope, I just added this um, gold snowflake trim and then pearls along um, this edge. And then on the back side, I also added the big pearls and then smaller pearls here uh, where you can write, you know, the two, um, the, the, the two to whoever you're going to be sending this envelope. I think this envelope is part of the Angelica kit. And then inside, when you open it, I glued this, um, hope you can see it, this textured or embossed uh, wallpaper so so that there's a texture element when the receiver you know opens the envelope so i thought that's um, a really cool thing to add um, inside the envelopes so that you know um, there's added effect and then of course inside i just tucked um, this card it's still empty i haven't decorated it yet and this one is also part of the uh, angelica kit so i just um, cut the uh, bottom part and then fold it in half then you have a card so that's the first one that i made and then this other one is really really fun so i call this the um the elevated snowflakes so i'm um, not sure what part what kit this is part of i'll put it in the description below but this one obviously i had a lot of fun with these cut out um, snowflakes so I cut them using um, I think it's an old C6 uh, puncher so and then I used a metallic paper have a bunch of those to use this Christmas and I just went wild and added them all over 
this um, envelope. And then uh, I this one has an attached string. I attached it to the edge of the flap. And then I added this star brad because I thought it went well with the pattern of the paper. And then at the bottom, I added this wax seal. Thought it looked really cool in there. And then inside, um, instead of attaching something, I just... Um, used a stencil to have a little bit of something um, a little bit of decoration in the flap so i thought that also looked well and then i added this sticker here just to cover the um the brad and then i just have postcard inside i think this one is from graphic 45. so that's the other envelope Again, um, you can, you know, um, seal this, glue it if you're ready to send it out to um, your recipient. So that's the other envelope. And then this one is also really, really fun. And I understand that, you know, if you use, uh, if you make something like this and you send it out, these um, glitter glass some of them might fall off, but I thought, you know, it's still fun to create one and add them in there. So this one just has a green string. Take it out. And this one, for this one, I used um, the wax heels that are included in the kit. And then I just added um, this crystal drops uh, to outline some of the design of the seal just so there's um, additional texture and then yeah I added um, these glitter glass all over the flap and then when you open it inside I just added uh, I attached the string um, to the flap and then covered that with a chipboard and then this one this pattern is also part of the um, Angelica kit and then inside, I tucked um, a vintage, this is a vintage Christmas card. I thought the colors um, went well with this particular design. And then the back, I just kept it very minimal. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that I also added, I don't know if you can see it, some um, uh, metallic um, wax along the edges of these so this one i used green and then this one i use gold cream so i'll show you the gold cream that i used earlier and then this one um i think i used uh, mother of pearl i don't know if that's picking up in the camera but yeah i also added it here so that it shows shines a little bit so I also have it here, here, uh, along the edges of the envelope. So those are the envelopes that I've created. Now um, we will be creating one together. So we'll use this. Let me put this aside and then we'll start with this one. Okay, so the first thing to do is cut out um, the envelope and the seals from the digikit. So we've cut all of the seals, we can put it on the side, and then we have the envelope. So the next thing to do is to uh, fold along the lines. You can do this without this one, without the, um, the um, I forgot what this is called, the notch maker, but yeah thought it would be nice to make it with one so that the lines are, you know, all good. And straight. So that's... Then you can decide, you know, which is the bottom to be the bottom and then this 
这边的倒。So that's the envelope that we were that we will work on. Yeah. And then the next thing to do is to cover um, the top part, the part that that will show. So I got this other um, paper from the pit to show you. That's what it looks like. So since this will be, you know, all glued together, this is the only part that we need to cover. So what I'll do is I will just trace it. you have it there okay. we need to cover up the this part so we need to have at least until here okay. the next thing to do is to cut it Cut it um, slightly below the line that you created so that the black line doesn't show. This one isn't super straight. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay. So you need to glue um, this part first before you glue the outside. sure sometimes it doesn't fit sometimes it does okay so now it's time to glue so just add um, glue up to where you will be putting that background piece Then you can glue the inside. So you have the base. Then, if there's any, you know, white showing, you can just trim it
now comes the fun part. I think, you know, the fun part for, the, for me would be the decorating part. So, for this one, we can go, you know, we can do all of the things that we've um, already done in the previous envelopes that I've shown you. So for this one, um, I really want to use this um, closure and I want to think about already, you know, where I will be putting the, this one because it's a bit of a thick trim. So if I'm putting it here, So this one I want to attach here in the flap like that. I think what I'll do is just I'll use one of the seals to attach it. Be generous with the glue. use this so since I'm using um, this tacky glue this one doesn't dry fast so you need to hold it in place a little bit before you can let it go. All right, so we have the closure. And then I really also want to use, um, this is the gold uh, cream that I use. And then I use a, uh, an eyeshadow sponge to add it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm really generous with this one because it is Christmas after all. It needs to have a lot of shine so yeah have you done your Christmas shopping already I think I'm a little bit behind <laughs> some of my friends have already you know started sending their gifts because you know face-to-face -face Christmas get-togethers is still discouraged so I have to my aim is to complete my Christmas shopping by next week and then or maybe this coming week right and then send them out the following week so yeah that's the envelope with the gold cream it's the front and then for this one I also really um, want to use this applique 
um or maybe this i wanted to you know make it um a bit three-dimensional because there is this whole page here and i thought this would look really nice on there so very quick and simple for this one and this is actually also some leftover trims from the journal that i made for christmas so it's also a good way to use it up it's a pretty big um, leftover actually So this glue dries um, white or, or transparent so you won't be able to see it so I like using it even for trims like this one I think this one I'll just pop some glue here Should I glue this here or should I just trim? I think this one I will just trim. It's a bit weird. Where did that go? And then this one. I don't mind. I don't mind those ones. Okay. So that one is done. Then I'm thinking if um, I want to include some more I do have this star one I think I can add it there yeah this one is actually from a a trim um, a ribbon and I just took it from that ribbon because I wanted to use it for this project front part while we're waiting for that to dry the front part will really have this excess glue dangling at the bottom so thinking should we add oh Should we add this trim without this one? Because this one is a little bit too bulky. And actually cut that off. Mm, and maybe not the beads as well. Mm, I think I know how I'll use it. one as well to 
we use this after all. Should we add that there? Will it glue? Let's see. <laughs> Let's just try. good just goes really well yeah and then this one So that's, I guess we just need to wait for it to dry, for the glue to dry. And then you can put postcard inside. I chose this one. Hopefully it fits. Let's see. Yeah, I think it does. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time.